Welcome to another video in the Atlantic Tutorials, a comprehensive series. In this video, we will talk about section 6.4, Labeling Captions. Labeling is one of the strongest features of LaTeX and we can label a chapter, section, subsection, table, figure, page number and equation number, etc. The respective commands for labeling will be if we want to label chapter then we will have to write slash label and then in the curly bracket ch colon and then here we will give the name of the label similarly to label a section then this thing will become section and here we will name uh, the label means the section for subsection we will do like this for table we will do like tab and then label similarly for figure for equation etc now in order to cite the given label we will have to use reference command while for page numbering it will be page reference so reference is used for all of these and only the page is given is the page reference as an example we will write or insert a figure and then we will use how to label this thing as we have already done this in the insertion of figure video however we will repeat that thing again for figure and table so let's start with a figure and here we see this was chapter 5 and here we were able to write a figure and this is the command for inserting the figure so let's see I just copy this or you start with slash begin figure and this and paste it here we start with the begin figure and end figure and centering means that the figure will be at the center and include graphics so it's a scale one and this should be the name of the graphic so i will go and here i have inserted a figure and this figure is having its name is latex so i will have to insert the same name latex now i will have to give its caption this is LaTeX which is written in its typical style now I will have to label this one now slash label and figure colon it should be for the figure and then here it will be the name of this figure so this label name can be xyz whatever you give this we will have to give a reference to this thing this should be a unique one it shouldn't resemble any other label otherwise there will be a conflict and LaTeX will adopt the latest one okay so better it should be some you can say labeling like figure one two or something like that and after the end figure it comes how to cite this thing so i will say that let's say all this thing see and this is latic which is written and it's this is latic uh, image which is written in its typical style is shown in figure so here I will do one thing I will give space and then double space and then dot so okay let me maximize this thing in order to be visible this is LaTeX image which is written in a typical style is shown in figure so I have given spaces and here what I will do 
two spaces means that I will show you in a while what does this thing means slash and then reference is I write reference then it will give me whatever labels are present so I can define new and I can give the old one which I have labeled and here I click and this thing appears here and then you will remove the space which is to the full stop the reason for doing this step that to give two spaces and then insert this one because if i will write exactly close to this then this will be not having any space with the figure number and the reason for giving space before the full stop is that when i will write reference and full stop will be there it will not prompt me that what labels are present so this is the way how to do it let me build the document and as i build the document you will see that it has written figure one this is latic which is written in a typical style this is the latic image which is written in typical style is shown in figure one this is a typical labeling and now it's up to the document that if I introduce a chapter, it will change it automatically. Slash, let's say this is chapter, and this is the first chapter, like introduction. And I build this document. Then you can see here that it has changed it to figure 1.1. This is a lot, of, and here it has changed this is latic image which is written over here now if i want this figure to be exactly on this page because latic is managing it on the top or on at the bottom of the next page so i will write just square brackets and i will write h and it will adjust it here and this positioning of the figure and table we have already discussed so it is over here and this was the labeling of a figure similarly if we even introduced another chapter let's say slash chapter and here i write literature review and literature review when i build it you see chapter 1 is here and chapter 2 is here and it has given automatically the name and here it is 2.1 and here it is 2.1 like this so once we have written it in a proper way then we don't need to worry about its numbering and all other things even if I copy this whole from here to here like let's say i copy all this not only figure but the text as well and i paste it here in chapter one so i build it there will be one conflict of the labeling here you see in the introduction it has introduced it is this one 2.1 while here it is 1.1 now this was the issue which i address at the beginning that the labeling should be unique if it is not unique then this will cause a problem so let's say if we are having same labeling for different figures then this would cause a problem it will pick the latest one as i said earlier and similarly here it is 2.1 and it is 2.1 right now we will have to change the label let's say that one is xyz this is xyz1 and here i change the label this is label and here it is not again here it is xyz and here it is this so i will do the corresponding change here as well and now you build it and again and it is right now 2.1 2.1 here 1.1 1.1 1 
So this is the way to do the labeling of figures and similarly if we want to label a table then I am doing this one over here in chapter 1 in order to insert a table we go to chapter 4 tables and here we are having the simple table but this is begin tabular this is a table only we want to write a caption and positioning of this table so we will have to go to begin table and end table and inside that the tabular environment will be so this is one of the example of begin table and all this so i just copy this one and come in here and then the rest of the table i do copy and then end table so this is the way i did copied it directly from the book but you can do like this no problem with this you write slash begin and then you go to the table which is here begin table and end table and then here you write in the content begin tabular this is begin tabular and then end tabular will come automatically here is the content which we do right here this is the content like LLL and here we will write that thing and here will be the content of this so we are having a table and this is table centering means the table will be in the center of the page and caption caption means whatever caption we want to write so here i will say that this is example of a table with the label and caption and then after the caption when caption is finishing i will have to write label and this is labeling let's say the table so lt i am now labeling this table and this is tabular and this is the table and now here is the table ends here i will see this is the labeling to the first table to the first table which is shown in table and here i give reference slash reference and you see that or xyz xyz one are there and now this table is there so i just click this and full stop so this is the way how to insert this and i just run this and you see here that it says table 1.1 example of a table with level and caption so it knows that the table caption should be above the table and the figure caption should be below the caption and similarly if we want to insert is the document starts and slash table list of figures and then slash list of tables and I build this and we see list of figure is here 1.1 it is here and list of tables is here and that is how to label a figure and how to label a table thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next video